And welcome to Flexible Games, where we are kicking off a series using a brand new game called Production Line. You know, this is uh, sort of in the same vein of Factorio and any other sort of production-based game. And uh, this game is pretty fun. Uh, I did a little test world to uh, kind of get a feel for everything. And uh, it's 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 pretty well done. It's, it's uh, in early alpha. You can buy it directly from the publisher, and all the links are in the description. And uh, let's just jump into it here. Uh, we're going to try... Uh, first, we're just going to try a medium factory. Um, I think this would be probably the best bet. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Look at this. So we start off with a factory. Just an empty factory and little wings here and there. Well, those are expansions that we'll be able to move into later on in the game. So a few basic things about this game. The production lines you're setting up are strictly for cars. So you've got the basics, you know, the chassis assemble, the fit body, the paint, fit engine, fit accessories, electronics, quality check, and finally export. Um, and so, you know, you, you start off with limited monies, and we're going to pause it while I do this here, uh, because we have to pay rent on this space. We don't actually own this space. So if we go to, go to expenses, you can see uh, expenses rent uh, is going to start hitting us as well as power so pausing this game before you have any production is uh, pretty wise that we are not wasting any money all right so the next thing we're going to have to focus on is getting some production going so we're going to want to do this sort of backwards i think um so one of the things i want to do Let's see, what's the best way to come about this? These doors here, these are your export doors. Now, your export block, you can't place it in a factory. You have to place it on a door. So that is something to keep in mind. I think we are just going to use this line right through here. We're going to be able to move all these vehicles. And eventually, we're going to be able to individualize, because right now, chassis assemble, that's the only one we can place. Um, we can't do individual things. We have to actually research all of the specialties, all of the uh, features of a car uh, individually. So we will get into research a little bit later. So we're going to start this backwards here. So there's your export, and this is... This just pushes everything out. This is pretty pretty straightforward uh, to employees. Uh, that is important, how many employees it takes, because you have to pay wages, of course. Power demand, uh, you know, keep an eye on this. Uh, time, though, time, this is the big one, eight seconds. So this one unit takes eight seconds to export a car. So you know, we'll keep an eye on that process as we go back. So that is export. So the next one up, these are all in the order. These assemblies, these are all in the order that you need to actually build them. So, you know, right now we can only do chassis assembly. But when we're able to individualize it, we'll be able to do each individual one as well. Um, and you want to build them in that order. Otherwise, the cars will back up. So the quality, the QA, takes 10.2 seconds. Remember, this is 8 seconds this is 10.2 seconds, so we'll just keep an eye on that. We don't have a whole lot of money to spend, um, as well as we don't have any real research that we can do right now. So we're going to do quality check. Then fit electronics, the time on this is 4 seconds, so that is that is good. 4 seconds for that. And leave, leave some space in between these steps here. Leave some space for potential um, optimizations later on. Now, we'll probably end up redoing this entire factory over and over and over again uh, before we've got it all filled up. Because you can individualize it and actually start making your own materials. So we can't, I can't actually click on any of these right now, but you can actually start making many of the components that goes in. So we've got electronics. So accessories, we can't individualize accessories right now. So we're just going to, oh, no, that's uh, fit electronics. We're just going to fit accessories. You can see these are starting to get 
oddly sized. So we're going to fit accessories right there. Now this one is 27 seconds. So we've gone from 27 seconds uh, to 4 seconds to 10.2 seconds. So it's uh, in, the, in the early games, it's hard to optimize because you have a limited amount of stuff that you can do. Uh, so we're going to do a fit engine, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it back here a little bit. Um, so we're going to put it. And fit engine is one of the most finicky ones because of all of the components that goes into it. Uh, and so fit engine, you can see, is 55 seconds. Uh, almost twice as long, pretty much twice as long as our fit accessories. So for fit engine, uh, I think fit accessories, that's kind of where we're going to do a baseline because everything after fit accessories uh, is takes less time. So that is a good that is a good benchmark to use. Uh, so we're going to build a fit engine, I think we're going to do it here. I want to do two lines. I want to get two two production lines going out and that way we'll be able to bring up our money a little bit faster. Um, but let's see if I want two of these. It's kind of hard to fit two of these. Um, let's go back I'll go back this far. So that's a fit engine. You can see how much these, that's 134,000 to do a fit engine. It's really expensive to get these, to get these up and running. Uh, so paint, 68 seconds. This is definitely something that we're going to want two of. Because that's, that's crazy. Uh, so basically since we built two of them we bring that down to about 34 seconds about 34 seconds since we've got two of those so fit body we're going to need two of these as well uh so fit body uh, we're going to put i want a space in there always leave a space that's the best plan that you can do okay now the chassis assembly this is a kind of a bigger bigger setup so I need to offset it a little bit so I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put one of them pretty close to here and the other chassis assemble I'm gonna fit over here okay now the conveyors we connect to to the development or to the production and then we connect them all the way through and then we can combine them like that uh, that's kind of messy we're gonna, we're gonna redo that one like that and then we want to spit all of these out like that there we go now these all need these all need materials so you can look uh, let's get out of here. If we look, you can see this this requires an axle, uh, and it's going to require a whole lot more stuff too. So this is this is the chassis assembly. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five different steps. Each one of those steps take different amounts of time. Um, so we, you know, combined it takes how long? Twenty five point seven five seconds. Now there are ways to improve this. See, there's only two robots on this right now. Uh, you can actually research it so there's more and more robots, but it's a diminishing returns. So you get like a 10% boost for the first set, 7.5% uh, an additional boost for the next two, and then a only, I think, 5% boost for the next ones. Okay, and we can't specialize these in any way, so we're just going to um, bring in our resources now these resource importers is how you do that and you have to do on these little windows right here those are the resource importers so I'm gonna do another one on this side to help to help satisfy some demand over here um, as you can see we've got 
some uh, resource conveyor. Now these are the little stockpiles right here that you need to hook up with the resource conveyor. Now you can go right over, or you should be able to, there we go, we can go right over the top of our conveyor uh, with this and we're just going to continue. I think these two, let's see, that is paint. Yeah, these two will come from this side. I want to limit this. So you want to connect it up, and there you can see it updates it. So we're going to drag this one all the way back, and then connect it up right over the top. And then this one has to be connected, and this one has to be connected, and those two can combine like that. So, now that those are connected, now we need to come to this side and do the same sort of thing. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't like to go over the top, but it does. It will go over the top like that. So now that's going to be connected, that's going to be connected. I want that to connect, that to connect. These two are going to connect in here. And we're going to bring this down to connect to there. Now. We have the cars running. Let's uh, start the start the game, and let's see. You can see this resource importer is starting to bring in uh, resources to start assembling all these things. Now they're pretty slow at first, and there's ways to research the the expedition of the resource import. So now we're just filling in all of the resources. And all of these and engines are the the nightmare here so one of the things that we're going to want to do is set up a stockpile and see the see the forklifts right there that is where you're going to load all the material in and out so we want to rotate this i use the r or the middle mouse button to rotate so we're going to rotate those and put them there the resource conveyor is going to be hooked up and this stockpile I want to set up to use with engines because engines use a lot of a lot of components and we want to we want to uh, we want to help that out a little bit so before anything gets over there you can see uh, how many things are in the stockpile and how many things that we're gonna want so first I'm going to add item and we're going to add valves because valves are something that we use a lot of. And I want to load 10. Okay, now the other thing are wheels and tires. So I'm going to do brakes as well. So I'm going to do four of those. It's enough for one car. Tire, I'm going to do four of those. And wheel, I'm going to do four of those. So this should just help keep that. And the total number of things that this can help or this can support, you can see it's six by six. So you can hold 36 items. Uh, and let's see, we have four, eight, 12. We have 22 right now. So I can do a, let's see, I can do... Uh, seat that's an accessories thing over here um, let's see what else does this want it wants radiators flywheels and exhausts and starter motors okay so I'm gonna do starter motors these are all in alphabetical I think uh, so I'm gonna do two of these I'm gonna do a flywheel I'm gonna do two of no, two of these exhaust two of these don't worry it won't let you actually uh, max this out so we have quite a few that we can now use for other things so we have one two three four five six seven ish available 
which is weird. I shouldn't have. So that's 4, 8, 12, 22, 24, 26, 28. So I have eight more that I can put in there. Um, uh, what else do we have? Uh, let's see. Steering wheel. So I'm going to do steering wheel. I'm going to do a couple of those. And this will just help help things uh, move around a little bit more and help the process help the uh, help this go along a little bit easier. So there's two more of those. So I have like, what, six left? Um, and let's see. That is a drive shaft. No, steering column. So let's do a steering column. And I'm going to do a couple of those as well. All right, now I'm just going to max out valves. And you can see it sets it up. So everything else is good to go. Okay, we have our first cars making it through. All right, there is the accessories. And now for electronics, which is only four seconds, which is awesome. And now for QA, which is uh, 10.2 seconds. So they're testing the car out. They're doing their own, their own thing. And now export. Now when export gets done processing, it's going to ask me, hey, I haven't found this car before. You, what do you, what do you want to, what do you want to charge for it? So we're going to, we're going to call this the base, uh, base. Uh, well, let's call it basicness. This is the flexible basicness car. Now, um, it's, it's telling me it's an 18,000 fair price, um, but we're going to, we're going to bump that up and I'm going to make, I want like a 38% markup on that. Um, it'll give us $25,000, uh, and, uh, we're, we're going to make some profit off it. Now, the reason I don't bump up the, the percent right away because you can bump it, you know, 50% somewhere in there. Um, but I want to leave a little room for future expansion. Uh, that's the that's kind of the name of the game here is, you know, when I start adding, adding things to cars, um, you know, whether it's uh, features and powered windows and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, when I start adding that, it's going to add to the cost of the car, and I want to be able to charge a higher premium for it. And uh, you know, it's kind of the mindset of I want these cars to sell. You can see we have one in stock, and if they're not selling, you can actually lower their price to try to move them out the door. Because if they don't sell, you're not going to make any money. And the game, uh, if you run out of money like completely uh, you lose that's the end game right there all right so if we zoom in here you can see everything's everything's going along great the cool thing about this is let's go look at this so you can see when it's fitting all of these things it actually changes the car um, so, uh, you know, it's hooding, it's doing the rear bumper, so the rear bumper will appear. There is the rear bumper. So the whole car changes as it goes down the line. It's kind of cool to watch, uh, especially when you have really long production chains. Uh, but, yeah, you can, you can get right in there, and now, see, now it's telling me inf insufficient resources because it doesn't have very many saved up. So, yeah, the color code is uh, yellow is waiting, green is being processed or moving, and red is stuck. Means something is wrong. Like there's, if there's insufficient resources at a station, it will, you know, it will turn red on you. So now we got a bunch more stuff coming over here. 
all the valves and oh so many valves this thing needs okay you can see our resource importer is going strong now you can look at the prices of everything that you're buying so I'm buying outright pretty much everything so I'm I'm spending 191 every time I buy a brake and four of these goes into every vehicle now eventually you'll be able to build your own brakes now if that's cost effective or not uh, I am not sure because I haven't built brakes before so I don't know what the raw materials are uh, and that's all depending on what the raw materials are so you can see you can pretty much look at the price of everything in the seat the seats are really expensive so these are one of the first items that I like uh, I prefer to build myself because there's definite savings on building a seat but that's getting ahead of myself uh, we need to actually kick off some research so that'll be next episode all right well thank you for watching and that'll do it for this episode so I will see you next time